All right, I'm right here today with my son, Montreal Jr. Now we doing it. We going in here today. Say what's going on, Montreal. What's going on? You gonna look? Hey. 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 Yeah. I think it's a small event today. Let's see. Yeah. We're about to go in here. Hey, just a little entry fee. See how this going. All right, we in here. Let's see what they got going on. I'm gonna go around. Check everything out. Probably make probably go ahead and make my purchases, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh. Oh, Power Ranger stuff? Yeah, it was in. It, they showed it in one of the Power Ranger movies. I well, a Power Ranger show I watched. Which one that was? Um, Power Ranger Dino Fury. Oh. Let's see what's going on. Let's want to walk around real quick. Come on, Montreal. You know, all right, you can get what you want. I'm gonna try to get some cards too. Well, if you look at something, come on, let's keep looking. You. Well, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go around and see, cause you might, you might say you want that and then see something else, and now you don't have enough for it. So that's how it goes. But we'll be quick. I didn't come here this morning. I wanted to beat the line, cause I don't think I'm looking for something important today. But you know, I can always find something. Dad, if you knew how to blur, I need to Say what? Blur, blur, blur. blur it. Yeah, you don't know how to blur faces. Yeah, I could, but why would I want to do that? Well, I guess I, I have to come to that later. But, yeah, but they don't care about that. If they don't, then let's see what's up. Not use cars. A lot of vendors here from what I see. But you know, it's big enough for me. Come on, Montreal. Yeah, I think it might be worth kind of checking out, but let's look around. Look around at some vendors. You know, I'm here mainly here looking for like more more likely mainly looking for video games. A lot of toys and stuff. Hold on, say, right, Montreal. Let somebody walk out. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead. Yeah. Oh man, look like a bunch of wall art, in Montreal. Well, not that way. This way, right here. Yeah. Bunch of wall art. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna see what I can use that for. What's going on, man? You doing all right? I'd like to got some boards, man. That's some nice boards. The Joker right there. How's it going, man? Oh, man, it's you? Yes, sir. That's nice right there, dude. It's handmade, all acrylic work. All acrylic? Yes, sir. Oh, man. Oh. You, uh, people take orders from you? Yeah, I mean, uh, what is it called? That QR code? QR code has all my links to it, and that's my website. All right, cool, man. How long you been doing it? Uh, overall, I've been paying it for like a year and like four months. Okay. And uh, conventions, I've been doing that for what nine months. Oh, that was my next question. How often you come to Columbia? Columbia? Uh, well, this is my second time this year. Uh, I mean. If I know more conventions, I would definitely come by. I'm local. I mean, not that local, but like I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. Oh, you, you, yeah, oh, yeah. you, you local enough. Yeah. <laughs> you know, okay. So that, yeah, I'll check out the Charleston one sometime. I'm, I'm going to check you out, man. Cool. Nice to meet Thank you, dude. You. Yeah, Thank thanks you. for the info. No problem. Oh, man. You got a nice Halo Master Chief figure model kit. That's nice. A mini money uh, we, we could check it out and read the back see what it is Mega Man roll full action plastic kit that's nice so let's see uh, check this out yeah mainly a bunch of anime stuff yeah yeah who is this Oh, I just tell. Oh, look at that trunks. 
That's nice right there. All of that's nice, man. I ain't never seen this one though. Come on, Montreal. Pretty big to me. Some Pokemon stuff, Pokemon. <laughs> huh? You wanna go look? You can go look. I don't wanna leave. Oh, I won't leave. Tell me, I won't leave you. I'll be right here. I'll, I'll be right here, close enough to you overseeing everything. Uh, we got some characters over there. Oh, look, we got some Japanese snacks. I'm guessing. Shoot, I'm not, I might try some of these noodles. Mm. Yeah, maybe we can get something to try. A bunch of plushies. Yes, welcome to heaven. What's going on, man? Yeah. Oh, you got some wall scroll? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to have to look at that. Got the Sonic chilling in the corner right here. He just hanging out. To do playing cards. Oh man, then y'all do playing cards too? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> They're really, really nice. They're full art cards themed after all the shows and games. Dang, I didn't even know nothing about stuff like that. Oh yeah, no, that's great. Well, now, here you are in paradise. Uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty much am. <laughs> You got the fans going on yeah, there. Fans. You got gotcha ponds. You got some Demon Slayer, some Hello Kitty stuff. Ah. Uh, Ocarina of Time, Pokemon. Ah, uh, yeah, I've just now seen that. <laughs> oh, oh man. She got some Demon Slayer oh. all. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, let's check out the toys right here. <laughs> I'm right here, Look at that. Demon Slayer stuff. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. I thought it was an amiibo, but I'm not too entirely sure. I gotta look at the box. Oh, man. Hi. Got Aaron over there. I need to check that out, Titan on Titan. Ooh, yeah, I need to get my hat game up. I can see myself getting that one. Oh, they got a Luigi one back there, even better. Just because it's green. Like a Paper Mario Luigi. I bet you will get this. Yeah, I probably will. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. Oh, a Sonic one down there. I ain't see that one. They got a blue shell. Attack everybody. Oh, attack the person that's in the front. Nah, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, we got the wallets over here. Sonic wallet. You want a wallet? You need a you need a wallet. Yeah, look at dog. Oh, I yeah, that's a lot, but that's a big dog. I thought it was. He just a, down there, he's chilling. For a second, I thought it was a. I thought it was a stuffed animal. Yeah, you see a bunch of plush plushies over there. You <laughs> you for would a think. There, I thought it was a stuffed animal because it didn't blink. Mm mm. It wasn't blinking. I was like, it didn't blink. Oh man. Mask? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. I see it now, yeah. When we come back around, I'll probably get one of those. Alright, we'll, we'll see what's up. There goes some more demons. Oh, all kind of stuff. Wall art. Demon Slayer. Naruto. Oh, yeah. Look like, uh. My Hero Academia. Yeah, My Hero. Dang, I couldn't say that just now. <laughs> I could not say that. even got Toba. Yeah, got that's. Toba, Bakugo. I saw her, but I, I saw her, but I couldn't cut, think of her name just now. <laughs> but yeah, you got it all. See, man, surprised me. Some people, you know, I didn't think you knew. Hey, how you doing? What's up? I didn't think you pay attention to the show. I don't ever see you watching the show like that. So. Cruising, but we'll look around, see what. Else. 
right to, and I thought about doing it, but it's kind of a coward to do it. Because, like, it's not, I, I was just going to look at it. They go real life Power Ranger. Right there. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yep. Now I'm about to I'm about to step out and look around for a little bit and see some more stuff. Oh man. Yeah. Ain't it? Ooh. <laughs> Let me try that out. Yeah. So I'm about to check that out right now. It's probably it probably is. You probably you gotta hard down look. Like I said, we ain't hard down look. I mean, I told you you can though. You, you can't go off and go ahead and hard down look. You probably can, unless it's something else you probably want to see. I'm not gonna tell you what happened, okay. but the main character is like. Oh, okay. We definitely about to stop right here. Check this out. Got some game stuff. Oh yeah, definitely my thing here. I'm definitely about to be camping out here but before I do. Oh man. Oh, I, I thought I saw something. But I did. Oh, I did. I saw this. Yeah, look at this. Oh yeah, I see that. Look at this. Demon Slayer stuff. Mm. Let's see. Fujin and Raijin. It's from Sega. Well, Sega made this line. But Hmm? Let's see. Probably gotta ask. But just characters that you wouldn't even know. Who's this? Oh, uh, I know you said her name earlier. I was, I was checking. Oh man, but yeah, we coming back here. Yeah, I'm about to look for some PS3 stuff. I need to get my PS3 collection up. But yeah, we coming back over there to check it out. But yeah, we'll just, let's see what you want to look at for. I'm with you, man. What you do? You can find out what you're looking for. You looking for anything? Right. Over here. You saw something back there? All right, we coming that way. Yeah, we coming that way. Come on, let's go. They might. They might, dude. Oh man, my brother would love this. Cards, especially when he used to collect them. I don't if Keegan was here, he would want to collect all the Pokemon. There goes Batman. <laughs> Batman and Star Lord look like. Oh, yep, I'm about to I'ma stop right here too. And checking this stuff out. Come on, Mondro. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even think. Yeah, man. Cool place. What's going on? How you doing? All right. So, yeah. So, we don't went through the middle. What'd you see? All right. Check out some helmets. You can go in there. Go and check and check it out, man. Come on, Hunter. Check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, through 3D printing. My fault. Uh. Yeah, I ain't say. say what? Okay, three uh, print Yoshi right here. Batman mask. I don't know if you got any questions. Yeah, yes. Questions. Sure will. Feel free to pick stuff up. And that one has a back that snaps on to it. Oh wow. 3D printing? Yeah, so we made the model and the design ourselves and then we printed it ourselves, sanded it, all that stuff. Mm. Damn. That's nice. The man. chip strap comes off that. Oh, be careful no, you're with that good. Velcro. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like the this comes on your face and then you just velcro the strap on. And we got the mando on You wanna put it on? Wanna try it? Yeah. 
Pop that off. Slide that on. Might be a little big for you, but then the chin strap goes on under it. All right, so now you Robocop. Yeah. Normally, like, we put some uh, foam under it too, yeah. on the inside, too, and so that uh, oh, passes it out. Oh, yeah. I see that at the top there. So, yeah. for, like, we do a lot of custom orders, so for the custom orders, we size it, size the helmet up and down. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got a card, like, right what? behind you, too. We oh. have a website, uh, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. So, with custom orders, how do they get them to you, like, uh, I guess? We should. Oh, well, as yeah. far as, like, if you need to know somebody's head size or whatever. Uh, yeah, no, you just... Um, we can come we can come to you, you can send us a picture and we'll use a program to model it. You can measure it yourself. Like we can make or we can make it bigger and then just pad it with foam so it fits. Oh, that makes sense. I got you. So there's a lot there's a lot of ways to do it. So it's just whatever way is easiest for the customer. Mostly movie props? Uh if we do a lot of stuff. Movie props. Um that one right behind you, that's actually the um, that's the Christian Bale Batman head. Ah, yeah. But it's a prototype they never used for the movie. Hey, how'd you find out about that? Man, sometimes my dad just goes around? off on crazy tangents and he finds <laughs> this kind of stuff and he's like, all right, we're printing this today. And I'm like, hey. Yeah, all right, what is, who we, whatever. I mean, it's just whatever he feels like sometimes. Mm. Nice, man. He, he's gotten real good at um, doing comic book stuff recently. Like, he's gotten... Uh, Zombie Thanos right there and stuff like oh. that. He's going hard going. <laughs> going nuts with that stuff. Hmm? Oh, yeah. I'll buy this. Uh, I took the mouse, mouse. Oh, that's a mask. Oh. It's a mouse Morales mask. Yeah. You want it? Yeah. All right, let's check it out. Uh, Mario Brothers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm going to see what was going on. I'm going to go back to my video game section. I know what this is, but I forgot what the movie was called. Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah, How to Train Your Dragon. Check it out. Mm-hmm. Uh, just looking at a few things here. Okay. Uh, anything else, or you want to? I, I mean, I can, I'm gonna look around. So, what you want to keep make, seeing? Uh, what see else they got? Deal on this one for? This is cool. I didn't see anybody else dressed up. Getting a snack. All right. Let's see. I'm. Let's see what's going on with that. Fixing the wings over there. I don't know what happened to the other. Let's find out. There's a video game event I missed. Might look through this now. Oh, you about to look through them Pokemon cards? I want to. Yeah, I can't believe I missed this. Hey, I'm glad I came back. I'm about to look through this. Now. Hey, we got to, got to get a blouse. Blouse. Bowser. Plushy. All right, we out now. Make sure I ain't drop nothing. Yeah, yeah, I see that. And then you go drop your dragon. All right, let's get up out of here. Hey everyone, it's Montrell here, also known as Trailville or Trillionaire. Uh, so coming back from the comic game and toy show held here in Columbia, South Carolina, I was able to pick up a few games that I thought would be a great addition to my collection. Uh, it was a small show, didn't think I was going to find anything, but funny enough, I wasn't even looking for anything. This stuff I just happened to find that I think would be real nice for me. Um, can't believe I didn't have some of this stuff. I just can't believe it, but hey, it was pretty cool. Um, so let me share with y'all what I was able to find. So everything I collected at the show was, uh, they were video games. Um, first up, we got Final Fantasy 7 and 8. Now, I did own these games, or I probably could say I still own them. I actually got the digital version of Final Fantasy 7 and uh, Final Fantasy 8. Actually, both copies, I have the original copies. Um, I don't know where they are, though. I'll, I'll have to I have to go to my mom's house because that's where they last were. Um, when I was a kid, I, I actually you know had these had the original copies of these. And they probably still somewhere at my mom's house. And it was a pretty cool find. So since I know I already own this digitally, I'm not going to I'm not going to play the disc version. 
So what I'm going to do, what I plan to do, I think I'm going to see if I can have a way to get it sealed. Um, it ain't a perfect copy. You know, it got scratches and everything. But I do want the plastic and all, you know, the, the wrapping on it or whatever. Because uh, I think I'm going to display it. Um, but if I could find the original versions with the black cases, I could put them together or whatever. You know, I don't know. But the cool thing about what I found, man, is um, it came with a book, yo. I mean, the, the original one, from what I remember, that I had... That I have, that's probably still at my mom's house. I, once I ever find it, I lost the book. So this was cool that I was even to find the, the full game, all three discs with the book in it. So that's cool, man. But um, Final Fantasy VIII, yo, I, 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 I need to find my original copy. Um, yeah, I, I just don't know what happened to that. But man, when I I tested both of these games, you know, of course they work. But um, when I when I tested Final Fantasy VIII, man, I look at that opening intro, man. That, that's that that game still got one of the best intros out just about any game i played man um it's 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 great I, I was about to keep playing it i was about to keep playing it man i went through the intro uh then after that i did a little bit of the beginning you know when squall wakes up in the hospital or excuse me wakes up in an infirmary or wherever he was after getting uh sliced by cypher in the in the opening intro i'm not sure if you all are familiar with the game but yeah i i did all of that and you know did a few few of the beginning uh, a little bit and it, it took me back man i was like dang man why why i ain't playing this why i don't own this a digital copy of this you know i, I don't know but you know what this made me want to go ahead and get it <laughs> it can because when i get it i'm not going to open this I'm, I'm gonna try to seal this up wrap it up put the wrap you know and, and display this one as well i got a nice wall scroll that'll go with this and i got a nice uh picture that's in the frame that would go with this that i like to hang up but you know this came with all this too i don't think it came with the booklet i don't think it did it, this one didn't have the book in it um no it didn't it didn't have the book in it um but hey i'm i'm proud to even have these now man hard copies i i kept avoiding them every time i go to one of these shows i was like why well, i need these games for i played them before but you know what i don't you know when i saw them i was like i don't even have these this is be nice with going my collection and it's something i could do with displaying them since i don't plan on opening them but, you know, Final Fantasy 7 and 8, to me, uh, two of the greatest RPGs that's out there uh, ever. Um, you know, I, I'm a big fan of JRPGs now. They, they got a name, uh, <laughs> JRPGs. I, when I was growing up, I don't even remember them even being called JRPGs, Japanese RPGs. They were just straight up RPGs. So, that's why I still call them today. Uh, Final Fantasy and Final Fantasy 8. Final Fantasy 7 and 8. Y'all should check them out, man, if y'all haven't. Next up, we got Gran Turismo 4 for the PlayStation 2. I heard this probably was like the best Gran Turismo game that ever came out. I, I'm not sure, um, but I, I heard great things about this one. Funny enough, I never played this one, though. Um, I, I, actually, I, I want to say 3 was probably the last one I played. And after that, man, um, I don't know why I didn't didn't get back into you know racing games or get back into Gran Turismo. I don't know. But I booted this one up, man. Those graphics still look good in 2023 uh, during the time of this video. <laughs> but those graphics still look good. It amazed me. I was like, wow, man, this is a PlayStation 2 game. It, it still looks good, but it's a racing game. I mean, it's, it's, that just seemed like something that's, that's ongoing to make a racing game, to make cars look good, you know, make racing games look good. I guess it ain't hard to make graphics look good on a racing game. But anyway, um, you know, Gran Turismo, you know, I think uh, Polyphony Digital, some of the best who ever did it when it comes to car car graphics, man, uh, in, in games. I got to check out uh, Gran Turismo, the latest one, I think it's Gran Turismo 7. Uh, I have a few friends who has it, have it for PlayStation 5, say it's pretty doggone good. I might get into it, man. I, I stayed away from it for a while, too long, you know, since the last one I played was Part 3. But um, I'm curious uh, to see how this one is, man. I, I heard good things about it, like I said. I'm going to check it out, you know, and I'll probably do a video of that, too, to see how that's going. But if it's like any other Gran Turismo, which I'm sure it is, uh, <laughs> it's it's you got to put a lot of time into it. Man. And, and that might be why I stopped with three. Um, it's so much time and so many games that's out that I want to play even now. Um, I might not have the time. I probably can just, you know, it's probably a game I can just play a little bit, come back to it every now and then, you know, get a little bit more things, uh, collect a few more cars, you know. Something I'll just probably play ongoing. Uh, hopefully, one day I'll have all the Gran Turismo's. Um, yeah. Next up, we got Freedom Fighters for the PlayStation 2. Now, back in the day, I had a homeboy who had this game for the GameCube. And we used to play it a lot, man. It was, it was pretty cool. Um, 
I guess I ain't never had it myself, so I ain't never really got to play like the the single player campaign mode or whatever. So um, I, I know a little bit what it's about. I you know look at other videos and you know uh, see how it is, and it seems like a real fun game uh, for the single player. But we used to play a lot of the multiplayer, man. It was it was back then before it's time. They, they need to bring this back. I don't even know if it was a part two to it. I don't think it was. But uh, but it was a it was a pretty cool experience when I you know tested out and played it. This one came with the book too. Um, you know something you don't see anymore. You know a manual in the game in the game case. Um, but yeah, it, you know it, it it looks really good for a PlayStation Two game, man. It, it looks good. It um, you know um, look just like the GameCube version to me. You know probably you know just slightly slightly you know uh, jagged edges on the graphics or whatever. You know but uh, you know but other than that. Uh, it, it looks just just as identical. And the one thing I, I wanted to know about it that I, that when we used to play it for the GameCube, um, it was four players. So I was wondering. I was like, man, it might just be two players. And I looked on the back of the case. It said it was four players with a multi tap. I was like, cool, cool. So that's something that uh, me and the family can get down with, or you know, anybody that comes over, we can get on this game and uh, and get to it. Pretty good. Freedom Fighters PS2. Now we got Marvel Ultimate Alliance Two. Now, I could have had this one for a while. Number one, I didn't know which system I wanted it for, whether I wanted it for the Xbox 360 or the PS3. But I snagged the PS3 version. Um, I had this game a long time ago, and I couldn't remember what console or what system I had it for. Um, but I think I had it for the 360. And the reason I found that out, when I popped it in my PS3, it said no save game. So I was like, I must have had this for the 360 because I had a save game. Um, but, you know, it don't matter. I don't mind starting over. Uh quick story i actually was looking for the ps4 version or the xbox one version of this game man dumb things expensive i'll, I'll just settle for this one i had i liked it back then on the uh, 360 and the ps3 back then um i'm sure i like it now when i was playing it or whatever you know testing it out it, it's still running and you know pretty cool to me um i like it a whole lot now another game i'm looking for is spider-man web of shadows man i had that game too a long time ago it was before i was collecting games if i knew what i knew now i should have kept that game because i saw that game in there and that game was like 90 bucks i almost pulled the trigger on it man but i was like man maybe i could find it somewhere else but uh if, if, if anybody out there see you know web of shadows and i don't get it yet you know for a good price that's i don't know man i i'll pay 50 for it maybe 60 um you know let me know i'll i'll grab it but Marvel Alliance 2, man, um, this one was real good. I don't remember people talking about it when it first came out, when, whenever it came out back then. I don't remember a lot of folks talking about this one, but it, to me, it was good. But apparently, it was popular because it, it came out again on PS4 and Xbox One, but it, they took it down, you know, act, act, after Activision lost the license. But, uh, yeah, man, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. And I've uh, been striking, you know, striking gold a little bit with these instruction manuals being in these cases. Look how thin this is. You can tell they're about to get ready to get away from this. It look ain't, it ain't really nothing there, <laughs> but um, yeah, Marvel Ultimate Alliance Two for the PlayStation Three, man, I can't wait to to jump on this. Um, I actually have the uh the Switch, what is it? Uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance Three Switch, the Black Order. Uh, I played a little bit of it. I need to I need to beat that, but um, yeah, Marvel Ultimate Alliance Two for PlayStation Three, pretty cool game. The last one I got was Super Paper Mario. Now I never played this before. And, and believe it or not, since I got this, this is actually my first Paper Mario game that I ever owned. Now, I played them before. I played the, the well, I only played one. <laughs> that was back then on the Nintendo 64, the first Super, uh, first Paper Mario. Um, never played one ever since. Um, but I, I snagged this. It was a good price. I was like, it might be a good time to get into Paper Mario. Um, I, actually, funny enough, I was about to get into it when the last one came out for the Switch. I think it was called the Origami King. I was about to get into it then. I just never pulled the trigger and never bought it. Um, but I saw this out there. I was like, hey, man, um, Super Paper Mario. And it was for a good price. Mario games for Nintendo games, they seem to hold up in, for Nintendo consoles, they seem to hold up in value and they usually be expensive. This right here wasn't even that much. It was like 20 bucks, I think I want to say. Um, I, I just went ahead and snagged it. Uh, plays nice from what I played. Um, tried it on my on my Wii U. Uh, and it, and it's play, it plays pretty good. You know, still surprising enough. Like I said, it comes with the book with the manual in here um you know this one thicker you know right then you know uh nintendo i used to like their i used to like their instruction manuals because a lot of them had well all of them from what i remember had color uh when it came to you know the games from nintendo 
But um, but yeah, Super Paper Mario. Um, like I said, I, I played a few a few minutes of it just to you know test out see if it worked. Um, if anyone who played this one, let me know how it is, man. Um, I don't, I don't hear people talking about this one that much either. People always talk about. I hear people talking about a thousand year door. I think that's the GameCube one. People talk about the first one a lot, and you know the new one since it just came out. I can't remember if I. Heard. I don't think people talk about this one as much, or at all, from what I remember. But yeah, Super Paper Mario for the Wii. That was the last one I got. I was surprised to get it. Um, like I said, first Mario, uh, Super Mario, Super Paper Mario, or Paper Mario game that I ever owned. Um, so yeah, it, it'll go nice with the collection. Hopefully, I'll find more, and you know, I'll just you know, start collecting this, uh, Paper Mario games. All right, so that's everything I was able to collect from the show. Um, uh, I didn't think I was going to be doing anymore, but that one caught me by surprise. But number one, because it, the, the fee to get in was really low. It was like 10 bucks. I was like, why not? You know, um, I don't know if I'm doing any more this year. I say that, but I got more, I got more, um, one more show that I think I'm going to check out. Um, and I'm about to show y'all what that is right now. Something I didn't know is that it's a big video game show in South Carolina. Um. Yeah, uh, it's going to be in Greenville, South Carolina. And it's in July, July 15th and 16th. Uh, some famous YouTubers on there. Um, I'm, I'm familiar with the completionists. And that's pretty cool that they're getting those guys to come. Uh, but uh, I'm going to check this out. I know it's going to be a lot of games. I'm going to save up for this. I, I probably end up going broke whenever I come there and <laughs> and, uh, and and spend money on that. on well, Whatever's there, you know. Um, but that's that. Uh, let's see, a couple cards. Red Finds Games. Um, I bought that Bowser from there. Um, you know, and, and he was a pretty cool guy. You know, I, uh, you know, you check out his page and everything. He got some nice stuff on there. Um, this place here, this is where I got that Marvel Ultimate Alliance. And this is also who had that, uh, that Spider-Man for $90. Um, they got a lot of games. I've been to this place before. It's in Sumter, South Carolina. I checked them out, man. They got a lot of good games. I need to go back over there um, and see what's going on. But, uh, but yeah, um, that's it. But uh, thanks for checking this out. And thanks for sharing, for being here for, uh, so I can share all this stuff with you, with you all. Uh, everybody have a good one. Thanks.